It's a shade after 3.30. I'm waiting for the leader to get ready so I can take her to the airport. I got an email from my buddy Joel from Pennsylvania. He's uh, in the Northern Territory. Been there a week. I think I told you yesterday it's been bleak. He said, the email he sent me says, Tell your buddy Keith in Alaska and I pulled three zipper pulls from one hole. And then I found one more later on. So four zipper pulls in one day. Northern Territory. I got another email from Chuck. Sunspot scoop maker guy. Carbon fiber handle. He said that he's sending us a, a new end cap. Or maybe two end caps. For our carbon fiber handles. In case anyone wants to cut theirs off. Seal it up with heavy duty epoxy and stick it back in there. The ones that are in there are sealed in with epoxy and cannot be removed without ruining them, you know. The one he sent me, if you remember from the video, is 43 inches overall, I think, which is perfect for me because I got short, short arms anyway, or I should say short legs. Denny's is a full 48 inches. And the red one I took out of the uh, M9 was like 45. But the 43 works really good for me. I like 43. And the 48, I've used Denny's a couple of times. And it's, you know, it's okay. Uh, like I said, the new ones that Chuck's going to make to fit the Stava Scoop are going to be uh, all standard 48 inch carbon fiber handles. When everybody gets through testing them and see how they hold up with that plastic insert. He's got a white solid plastic insert that goes inside the tube and then goes inside the pipe on the Stava Scoop. As you notice, mine is, you can't see the tube, but you could in the video. I think I told you. So far, okay. Still testing. Just a side note. Now... A lady named Elena sent me $20 on PayPal. She was sort of distraught about the uh, Navy Academy guy not giving me anything but a handshake. <laughs> so she sent me $20. Thank you very much, Elena. That was very kind of you. Okay, we're going to... We're going back to where we went, where I went Saturday by myself, where Denny and uh, Beaver and have been doing pretty good, uh, where the knife came from. That's uh, west of the uh, cave. Stand by. Well, my leader is outbound to LaGuardia. Now I gotta go home and put my gear on. Just got an email. Stand by. Beeper thing is going on. Just got an email before I left from the knife gig lady. And the knife gig's been canceled for Saturday. We got a bad storm coming in. Thunder and lightning. 80% chance of rain starting tomorrow night, I think, and all through Saturday. So no gig on Saturday. We'll uh, see how the weather goes for detecting. And tomorrow. Might be uh, shaky for tomorrow since the tides are low in the evening because I could get up at the crack of dawn, but we have to see how that goes, too. Stand by. Low tide in about an hour and a half, maybe two, here on the bay. Is that somebody out there? No. Yeah, Some swimmers again. We moved down a few blocks from the B Hill. This is about where the Benchmade knife came from. Stand by. Then he just dug a green nickel right there. First target. Well, I moved to the western in another hole. Then he's still in the same hole that we came in on. I got one piece of can. Like a Vienna sausage can rolled up or some kind of can like that. That's up. Wait a minute, I got a hit here. Yeah, second hit. I don't like it though. I 
Jumpy. Stand by. Well, scoops deep. Nice. Really nice. I wish that thing would wash away. Kind of a shaky 1224. One scoop deep. Yep, solid 1224. Out of the sand. I mean, out, out of the hole. Cap. I mean a big giant pull tab. Bigger than some. 1224. That's all I'd take it. I got three scoops off of 1242. Solid 1242. Now it's got a little noise added in, a little high pitch noise. And the 22-22 just popped up with the 1242. What the hell could this be? Well, 29. Now, jump around a little bit. We'll move around here to the side a little bit. Oh, I think I see part of it. No, that's a big piece of iron in there. Oh, not an iron. Boom, upside down. That may have been part of it, but that's a null one, see? Let's see what else we got here. That was it, it's not a sound in the hole now. Quiet. <laughs> How about that? Good side and a crooked side. GTX says stop here. 1205. See what that is, 1205. Maybe we should like 1205. Been slow, I can tell you that. This is four inches deep now, with one scoop going off of it. I don't know how accurate that is, you know, I'm not into. You got it, on the second scoop up. I see some copper looking thing. That's our 1205. Some kind of gizmo. Not what I was expecting. Or wanting. Well, right next to it was another 1205. Maybe it's a bigger piece of their scene. Shoot, 12.05. I don't think that's part of it. It's this big thing right here, whatever that is, making the noise. It's a meteorite or something. It ain't very heavy though. That's making that sound. 
See it? That big rock? I'm gonna have to take that home, crack that open, see what that is. You don't see anything stuck in there anywhere. Stand by for later. Let's go wander over here and see how Mr. Denny's doing. As he digs on a target. As we spin along in that direction. Up a little bit. Supposed to get bad tomorrow, but in the evening. I think I already told you that though. Toss this rock out there when he gets through, let him listen to that rock, see what he sounds like. He's going to my rock now. 1207. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I got on it too. <laughs> I'm taking it home, see what's inside of it. Flat rock or something though. I know it. Sounds good, boy, can you? A little something right there, a little rusty looking. Yeah, it might be something right there. Might be worth breaking in. Yeah. Best, one of the best sounds I had all day. <laughs> and I ain't had many. Let's see, uh, CTX will stop here. Solid 11, 12. 12, 12. Some kind of 12. Two inches deep now. Second scoop. This ticket is in the, I think, in the scoop. See no yellow. See a damn thing. Stand by. Let's see if it's. Under the sand there. Yeah, we'll drop that right back in there. Okay. We'll go back in the hole. Scratchy sound in the hole. Not a solid sound now though. Now there's no sound in the hole. I see it. It's a rusty nickel. I mean a green old nickel. Can't make out any date on it. I really want to get home now. Stand by. It's the best sound of the day right there. 12, 16, 12, 17. A nickel or a pull tab? That's a little choppy after the horse scoop. Second scoop, still choppy. Come in, number three scoop. I don't think we got it on the third scoop. Well, we're going to look at this one. Dump that out. Okay, back in the hole we go. Still reading 12, 13 now, 11, 13. 17 is gone. Now 
That's a dead on 1217. Locked in solid that time. 1217, four inches deep still. That means it's a piece of crap, I think. That's five scoops, there ain't no six scoops, I don't know. I'm betting crap now. Stand by, let me turn this thing on. Well, eight scoops deep. There's a 1217, just like it's supposed to be. Fresh crop, too. Well, starts out as a 1242. That could be a dime, could be a nickel. Up here on the bay, it's hard to say what it is. But first scoop. I see a copper roof, uh, roof nail, I think. There goes the neighborhood. I see that little piquito. Well, 42. You see, I'm working right here on this break. It's about a foot deep. Comes off there, drops right off in this little slew light. Jenny's behind me, working just outside the slew. About a foot out, two foot outward from where I am. He's got he's got more targets than I have today. So he stayed in this hole we're coming up on right here. Stand by. Solid 12-11. Look at it. 12.13 that time. 12.14. Solid. That's second scoop coming off of it now. Two scoops deep. 12.13. 12.11. Is there going to be any yellow in there? It is. It's hiding pretty damn good. I don't see a damn thing. Just drop it out here on the sand and see if we can... Oh, uh, whatever it was is already out. It's the head of the hole with the tide, about a foot. And by, let's see if we can get it up here. Yep, whatever it is. A light pull tab wave washed it out. Bent. Not a fresh drop. I had somebody in today. Well, the sun has gone down, almost down. Clouds are starting to roll in. You ready to go? Yeah. Okay. End of the spin. We're going the hell out of here, this place. Don't know about tomorrow. We're rainproof, but we ain't lightning proof. Might be Saturday. I know, like I said, the knife gig's already been closed, canceled because of the storm. That's the first time she's ever done that. Stand by. We're headed to the... You can see we're getting a, a little teeny bit of rain now. It's about a little before 12. So before it gets too bad, I think we better do this what's it that we found yesterday that made so much noise. Stand by. Well, I got it all broke up. I don't see anything in there. I got the pin pointer. Nothing.
That's very odd. Okay, just one of them things, I guess. Stand by for the roundup. Roundup. Bleak. Bleak roundup. Gray matter. The nickel ended up being a 76. That's about it, ladies and gentlemen. See you as soon as we can. I think I showed you a picture of this thing, but I still don't have any idea what it was. Some piece of crappy junk thing from some. Now, back to these blue nose bullets. I put two explanations in the uh, message about what they are. One is correct. And one is what I like. After digging the third one of these, maybe the second one, second or third one, I had the sound down and the numbers down to a T. But it gave you two numbers. It's a, it's a tricky ticket. You see that little cap right there, the, the uh, primer, I guess you call it? That's brass. The whole bullet itself is aluminum. So you get, and I don't, the bullet's plastic. I mean, the bullet itself, you know, the projectile. I don't think that gave any sound. But the aluminum and the brass connected together gave a jumpy, solid number, but it jumped around a lot because of the two metals. But after, like I said, the second or third one, I had it down to a T. As soon as I saw it, I knew what it was. I talked to my, the main guru, the guru of gurus, and he was in that spot uh, we wake to 10 days ago. He dug 14 of these things in there. There's a lot of blue noses. <laughs> okay. See you later. Stand by. Good luck to everybody. Just got a package in from uh, Warren, Michigan. Stand by. We'll see what's in it. I didn't recognize the name, but it's C. It's Madigan. It's Chuck. It's the scoop guy. Sunspot. It's the uh, plug for the uh, carbon fiber handle. Hold on a minute. I want to tell you, this is not any ordinary plug. This is a fancy taquito. He said, epoxy it in well if you want to shorten your shaft up. Your scoop handle, I should say. Mine is only like 43 inches, so I won't be short in mine, but if Denny wanted to shorten his, he could. Or if anybody else wanted to, I guess this is an option he's going to be selling or having available. But you can see it's pretty nice. Pretty thick. It slides right down in there and epoxy it in place. Pretty cool. Thank you, Chuck. See you later. On a side note, I don't think it's here yet, but I'm working on something of interest to me, especially. Uh, my buddy is supposed to be working on... See if I can get it to pull up. I'm going to put some of these on eBay for sale. Now this is just a draft of what it's going to look like. It's a t-shirt. But on the pocket, it's going to have a pocket on it. It's going to say Pirate Society. And on the back, it's just going to have a big skull that says Treasure Hunter. They're going to be, the original order is going to come in in ash gray, which is a light gray. And that's all they'll say. I thought he was going to send me a better picture, but Apparently not. But if he does, I'll add it to the end of this video. Now, I don't know when they're going to be ready. Probably in a week to ten days. I don't know where the price is going to be. Probably 18 to 20 bucks to you guys. 
the pocket makes them a little bit more expensive. I'm having them done here locally. I could probably get them done online somewhere cheaper, but initially I'm going to start out with a guy right down the street here. Let's see how they go. That's all they're going to be is Pirate Society on the shirt, Treasure Hunter on the back. Stand by. I better tell you about the size. There's going to be just a few mediums to start with, a few large, uh, extra large, and double X. But like I said, it's going to be a meager order at first. My ammo is tight. Stand by.